there, there do have to be rules. I'm sorry. For the record, you're not supposed to violate the rules. But off the record, you can't obey the rules exactly either. So a certain level of rule violation is necessary. That is the main unwritten rule. Unwritten rules <clears throat> always take precedence over written rules. You won't see this written anywhere, <laughs> so commit it to memory. Unwritten rules always take precedence over written rules. Written rules are made up and put on to provide a semblance of order or to discourage litigation or as a political compromise. Written rules are the cosmetics of law. They are written for appearances, and appearances are deceiving. For instance, the sign that you see in restaurant restrooms that says, employees must wash hands before returning to work. Well, if you think that sign is a message to the employees, you just don't get what written rules are about. So please don't think about that when you're eating. <laughs> downstairs or when you're having a drink or don't think about it at all because you know what once you start thinking <clears throat> in terms of germs you fall in with the dreamers of other demons along with those apprehended by apparitions and those attending to voices that cannot be heard you delve into the realm of the imperceptible Vile spirits of viruses and bacteria swarm on doorknobs, window sashes, and writing implements. Worse than seeing them is not seeing them, yet being keenly and constantly aware that they are there. For there, in the dark realm of the imperceptible, vexed by spates of spectral viruses, beleaguered by incubus loads of bacteria, you doom yourself to dwell on the demons of dis-ease once you start thinking in terms of germs.